So, see this giant suitcase? It's full of mystery items. My sister-in-law, she packed it up. She said it was more than a year ago to bring to me, but then the pandemic hit, so it sat in her car trunk for a year. And then, uh, not too long ago, when we got together for my mother-in-law's birthday, she gave it to me, along with several tote bags and things. And uh, she warned me, since it's been closed for so long, it might be a little bit musty. So I have no earthly clue what is in here. It's going to be so fun to open. So let's open a mystery box, a mystery suitcase. So hi, I'm Karen Lebo with VintageDazzle.Etsy.com and we're going to open this mystery suitcase right now. And I just opened the outside zipper compartment and first item is some cardboard and some cuttings. I don't think she probably intended to give me that. Um, they smell really good. Actually, they smell like eucalyptus or something, so maybe that'll help with the mustiness, but yeah, I don't, I don't know that she meant to give me that. Let's see. Okay, nothing else in this compartment, so. completely against wearing fur, but I'm not completely against selling. Oh, this is not in great condition. Selling a vintage fur because maybe if somebody buys a vintage fur, they won't have to buy a new one. Maybe it'll save an animal. This is Grandma Grace's fur, and it, uh, it has her monogram in it, and um, I don't know if it's, it might be mink. It's a pretty color. It needs a cleaning. It needs a repair. But, there you have it. Grandma Grace's fur coat. Okay. This appears to be a tie-dyed scarf. Uh, from India, I'm guessing. Well, that's very beautiful. It's um, like a very lightweight, uh, could be silk. Yeah, I think it is silk. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, got a silk scarf. And, oh. Oh, I'm glad to see there's jewelry in here. This was probably bought at a um, church bazaar. Seems to be a shell necklace. Kind of an interesting one. I've never seen one quite like that before. And this is a, I don't know, this is a bracelet that goes with it. I don't know. Oh, let's see. It's an earring. Oh, it's one earring. The other one seems to be broken. But we'll see if we can find the, the piece to it. Well, it's kind of fun. I like that the shells are so pretty. I like that. Oh yeah, okay. Here's the other, <laughs> the other shell. That's an easy fix. And then this is an embroidered little kind of uh, beanie hat. I think this might be Chinese. Uh, it is hand stitched and it's was, it cost seven of some currency, but see if you can see that, how beautiful that embroidery is. Oh, that's really neat. That's probably very old. Okay. Oh, I love that she tagged all this stuff. This Hong Kong. These um, 
Oh, this is a dress. I see. Sometimes this uh, Chinese clothing can do very, very well. Silk, embroidered, embroidered. Yeah. Very um, kind of a slim dress. Hong Kong. Thirty-six is what the size is. I don't know what that means. Um, well, that's very interesting. I don't know. I don't know how to clean it, but maybe just airing it out and pressing it will be all it needs. I don't see any huge stains or anything on it. It's got a zipper on the side. This is this is going to be. Oops, probably about a 1950s dress, I would say. Mm, okay. And we have a blanket. Um, that looks like maybe a llama. So this might be a llama wool uh, blanket from Peru. Don't know for sure. Yeah, that looks like it might be South American, so... Oh, that's a nice thing. Gosh, that's beautiful. Woohoo, look at that. Okay. Silk screen, people with umbrellas, looks Asian. Oh yes, it is signed. You can see right there the characters. This is probably Chinese, I guess. I don't know how to identify that, unfortunately. Could be some really famous artist and I would never know. Japanese bamboo art. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I've seen these things before. I don't know if you can... It's kind of a little bit hard to see, but... Baskets and boxes and things woven from bamboo. <laughs> I don't know if you can see or not. I, unfortunately, when I'm filming these, I can't... Ooh, look at this. I can't see the screen, so I don't know what I'm exactly showing you. I hope it's something. Muffin, what are you doing? And, oh my goodness, look at this. This is a purse. It's leather. It's got some little pockets. Um, let's see. It's kind of hand stitched, maybe. Uh, says, oh, it's Bolino. It says something right there. It says Bolino or something like that. Bolivia. Bolivia. Duh. Okay, that helps. Uh, Muffin has found a suitcase. She thinks that's a great deal of fun. Okay, we have a shirt with embroidery on it. And that's very pretty. You can see what the embroidery looks like. It, um, I don't see a tag in it. It looks like kind of a medium, small, or medium size. I don't know where that's from, but very cute. Uh, let's see, what's this? Oh, okay. Oh, neat. So this is one of those um, ball and cup toys. It says vintage Mexican toy. Oh, this is cute. I would probably break my wrist if I tried to play it, so I'm not going to. But you know how that works. Cool. This 
is a mixed bag, isn't it? Uh, oh my gosh, look at this. A Singer buttonholer. <laughs> I suspect these are a dime a dozen, but I don't know for sure. Not fun. Stop it. Anybody need a Singer buttonholer? Interesting. Oh, egg coddler. Gift from Fred. That was my husband's uncle. I've sold many of these. This is it a yes, it's a um, Royal Wooster. Porcelain made in England. And it's in good shape, just needs a little cleanup. Boy, you wanted to try one of these. I think you just you put the eggs in here and then you put this in boiling water and you, you can pick it up like that. And it coddles your egg, it makes kind of a poached sort of egg, I think. Okay. Oaxaca purchased in Cuyaco, Mexico. Homespun thread, hook, stamp, boom. I'll have to read that later. But there we go. Mexican weeple dress. I've been doing very well with these lately. I had some really lavishly embroidered weevils that sold for very good prices. So, very pretty. Make sure I don't lose this card that goes with it. As this is. Oh, this is a fun suitcase. My goodness. Oh. Okay. Well, this is a pot. And it is Calif USA. So it's California pottery. Uh, these, these have not held their value as much as they could have. This is like a not a handmade piece, it's a, you know, studio, uh, what do you call it, factory made, I think. I'll have to do some research on it and see, because there's some, still some California pottery that's valuable, but most of it has dropped a lot, but it's very pretty. If it's not worth very much, I'll keep it and put a plant in it. with an embroidered M on it. And, ooh, more, more pretty cotton handkerchiefs. Oh, look at all these. Aren't they pretty? I will probably keep these. I love printed cotton handkerchiefs. I just love them. They're so cheerful. And some more. Ooh, that's pretty embroidery on that one. Some of these I might just um, sell in a lot. What's this? Oops. Oh, these are sweet. Okay, well, I messed it all up, but you can see the embroidery on that. And this is a plain blue one. These all need to be washed. I just hate washing them because I'm so afraid they'll be ruined, but that is sweet. That is beautiful. Tiny stitches on that. Wow. And here's a little monogrammed one. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's look at some 
jewelry. Oh, okay. We have we have a micro mosaic brooch from Italy. Uh, I think this is probably a newer one, just because the newer ones are shiny like this and pro probably not brass. But that's a nice one. It looks like it's all complete and it's big. Oh shoot! Sorry. Uh, then these look like some, uh, maybe aventurine earrings. Not sure what the stone is. Green stones are always so puzzling. These are screw back earrings. Oof. Um, guessing these are, I think they're marked, like, uh, they're marked, uh, silver. Probably old, old Mexican silver. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, probably. And then this, I think maybe maybe it's a belt buckle of some kind. See what the back looks like. And this is gosh, wouldn't it be nice if it was jade? I doubt that it is. I think it looks like soapstone. Yeah, it looks like soapstone. Or something similar to that. Isn't that Okay. Ooh, another really large micro mosaic. That's a nice one. Oh, that's pretty. And it's mosaic pin from Italy, $28. Someone paid for that at some point, probably a very long time ago. A lot of this is um, stuff from, uh-oh, the music is starting. If the music starts, I have to stop because of the copyright problems. All right, I'll be back. Muffin has found herself a new bed. She's decided to get in this suitcase that I'm unpacking. You look very cute there. All right, so I'm picking this back up later in the day. Uh, I ended up getting distracted and so the lighting may be different, and I'm a little more, uh, well, not as in good a shape as I was earlier. So let's see, what is this? It seems to be a hat. Oh, isn't this cute? Um, this is knitted, I think. Oh my goodness, it's so complex. It looks like it's got little boy toys on it. Bow, there's a boat, you know, and there's a motorcycle and a little bus and a plane for baby size head Peru. How cute. Hi. <laughs> okay. This, I don't know, this appears to be a cloth. Maybe she just used this to pack something. Um, let's see, Ooh, what's this? We have a mystery bag. Make sure this is going. Yes, it is. Oh, okay, we have some carving implements. Oh, we have a sharpening thingy, a meat fork, and these have, uh, I believe these are Bakelite handles. $135. Wow. There's the knife and another fork. So there's two forks, a knife, and a sharpening thing. These are cool. I'll have to do some research and find out why they're so special. Does this knife have a brand on it? Oh, it does. Uh, this is a Allegheny Forge. Allegheny Forge. Cool. Well, that's fun. Okay. Um, this. 
something packed away. Okay. Um, oh, more, uh, this is more California pottery. Oh, that's pretty. USA, California. I kind of like this one. I mean, I like the green one too, but it's kind of got kind of a nice drip glaze to it. And uh, we have a, um, oh, I've sold one of these already. It's an Egyptian tablecloth. Got I think it's Egyptian. Yeah. What else would it be? It's got some Egyptian geese on it. We see those Egyptian geese live in our parks around here. Oh. Well, at least they're not paying, playing the music right now. Normally, as soon as I start filming, they start playing music. Okay. This looks to be... Ooh. Ooh, 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 look at this. Isn't this pretty? Um, this is going to be Asian. Uh, uh, not quite sure. Thailand, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. That, that's, that's a beautiful jacket. Wow, that's nice. Okay, so you can see the cross stitch, tiny, tiny, tiny little cross stitch. Oh, shh, 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 shh. You have to scream so much, goodness. Uh, okay. Let's see. Ooh, what do you suppose this is? Looks like it's um, wrapped in some handmade paper of some kind. Cool. Almost is like a, I guess it's a big, um, like a big gift bag or something. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. Some jewelry. Oh, okay, there's a bunch of jewelry here, so you'll like that. Oh, nice. This is an absolutely gorgeous... Um, I don't have my lights on. <laughs> a gorgeous silver bracelet. Isn't that pretty? Uh, let's see if there's a... Yeah, it says 95. Uh, I don't really see anything else on it, but... Oh, that's so unusual. I like that. And then we have a silver cuff. That's pretty. See this one. Mm, I don't see any marks. Oh wait, there's a mark. Oh yes, this says um, sterling. Okay, and oh cute. Some little very finely beaded dangly earrings. Those are sweet. Is that a bird? I think it's a bird. <laughs> okay. Uh, this. Oof. this is really knotted, closed. Oh, how am I going to get this out of there? Okay, we have these earrings. These are turquoise and sterling silver. And there are two of them. Let's see. Uh, uh, what does that say? It's Mexico. This sign looks like an older mark. So we have two earrings like that, and then we have oh, this is a pretty little um, chip turquoise cuff bracelet. That's sweet. Uh, this one's alpaca, so not so not sterling. That's cute though. And 
Okay, that's, there are two earrings in that box. And we have, oh, oh, I've had one of these before. Oh, look how cute. Turtle. He's done with them. Mother of Pearl. Shell, oh, that's so, that is just unbelievably smooth. You can barely tell. It's so well inlaid. And um, let's see, this is uh, 95. That's, uh, I think that's probably Native American. So sweet. Oh, I love him. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. There's some nice silver jewelry in here. That's wonderful. Uh, this one says, ooh, this one's signed. Tom Hawk. Sterling. I will have to check into that. But that's probably Native American. That's beautiful. It's so clean. And we have another little box. And we have, ooh, some little, uh, what are these? Oh, I think these may be, uh, okay, we got some tr more, some turtle earrings. Oh dear, they're tiny. Okay, so there's a there's a turtle right there, and then oh, and the other one is the hare. It's the tortoise and the hare. Oh my gosh, those are darling. Look at this. <laughs> I hope you can see these. They're so tiny. Oh my gosh, what cute earrings. Mexico ninety five. Uh, they're, they're signed. Oh, those are cute. And then we also have, this is a little um, pen and also a pendant. I have a hummingbird and a flower inlaid. Oh, that's nice. Okay, ooh. beaded necklace, some type, there we go, Look like that, that's pretty, I don't know what these beads are made out of, what are they made out of, I don't know, they're kind of cone shaped, oh I bet it's like the end of a shell or something. Oh, those are interesting. I've never seen that before. Where did my little hummingbird go? I'm going to put him back in the box. There he is. Okay. Let's see. And then, um, some more silver things. Oh, these are lovely. Look at these. Earrings. Aren't those gorgeous? Enamel, feather, earrings. Oh my goodness, those are gorgeous. I wonder if they're signed or marked. Oh, oh. oh I don't see a mark. Oh, they're so pretty. And let's see. Um. Oh, this is nice. It's an old coral ring. And this is not marked, but it looks Native American-ish. And this is a bear claw with turquoise. And I don't think that one's marked either. It's pretty tarnished. It's a little hard to see. Oh, look at this. Is a ring? That's so pretty. Very modernist. Seems to be marked with, um, uh, I'll be able to 
read that. It's very, very tiny. It does say stir 95.7, which might be the size. And it's, uh, it looks like it's a modern museum, museum of modern art. So that's cool. Gosh, that's gorgeous. And we have an earring. There's the earring. I'm hoping there's a, a mate to it in here. Yes, there is. Um, these look like they could be tortoise shell. I'm always uneasy selling tortoise shell. So if they are, I might keep them. But that does look like what they might be. Got some little beaded hoops. Oh, those are too cute. These are so colorful and fun. Um, okay. I have another bag. It seems to be full of stuff. Let's see. Oh, so we have a lapis lazuli necklace. Got, uh, I think this may be one my sister-in-law Amelia made. It kind of has the look of her. So it's got a um, fish hook clasp that says Lou Coral, Lou Coral. Um, well, I don't know. Could be. And. Oh, there's more stuff in here. <gasps> Ooh! Ooh, look at this. I don't even know what it is, but I like it. Oh, it's all tangled. <sighs> oh, dear. Okay, oops, there we go. Ooh! Well, got some of it untangled. I'm not going to be able to sit here and do this right now. But it looks like it goes like that. But that. And that's probably silver. Sure it looks like it. Um, I don't immediately see a mark on it though. Oh, that's very, very pretty. Okay, and we have another necklace with some glass beads. This is not very old. It's got a lobster claw clasp. That, that's nice. This is the kind of necklace I really like to wear. Sorry about that. I had to change batteries. Um, I don't know where I was. I think. I think I showed you all the jewelry in that. And then <laughs> there's this sweet little vase. It is signed De Nausea. Yeah, I don't know. That's cute though. Okay. Grab something else. What could this be? Looks to be a pretty scarf. Very fun color. It's like printed cotton or something. A little kind of a lacy edge. That's very cute. Okay. Like we have more handkerchiefs. Got more handkerchiefs than I can shake a stick at. Unless these are oops, unless these are tiny, tiny little cocktail napkins. Maybe that's what they are. Yeah, I think these might be tiny cocktail napkins. And look, they have little tiny chickies on them. <laughs> 
Those are cute. I'm probably going to make up a lot of these lemons. Ooh. Say Mexican uh, green stone onyx, green onyx. That's what this is. The other stuff that I said was aventurine the other a little while ago probably is onyx. But these green stones always confuse me. Um, this is marked. Mexico silver, so that's a nice old piece. Oh, uh, that's beautiful. I love these. This face jewelry is so fun. Okay. What's this? Okay. Looks like we're getting. Ooh, they like the. Kimonos. If I can ever figure out which way they go. This goes like this. Oh dear, I don't know. I don't know how this goes. This looks like it might have stain in it. But, there's possibilities. It's black, it's silk. The silk is textured. I don't know if you can see how pretty it is. It's very subtle. Oh, that's beautiful though. And I don't think that's stained. I think that's maybe how it's supposed to be, but I don't know. That will need further inspection. This is. Feels like it's another pot of some kind. Oh, well, that's a pretty one. Another California pottery. Is it? Oh, let's see. This one is. Oh, this is a uh, Rose Lane. Rose Lane pottery. I think, is Rosaline one of the California potteries? It might be. It's got some paint or something on it, but it looks like it'll come off. Look, isn't that sweet? I love this color. That's a nice one. Okay. made in China. Oh my god, it's shedding beads. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. I don't know what can be done about that. This is some type of belt? Collar? I don't know what it is. But it's made in China. Put it in the bag. Okay, let's see. Ooh, look. More jewelry! I didn't know there was going to be all this jewelry. I'm so excited. Uh-oh. Looks like we have a little broken piece of shell. Uh. Okay. All right. So we have some little bear fetish earrings. These are going to be Native American, probably um, Zuni, maybe. And we have some earrings, very large, dangly. I see the other one in here. See these? That's fun. Um, those have got to be Mexico. They're not marked, but I'm assuming they're Mexico. 
And I'm assuming they're silver. Some more big earrings and hoops. Ah, oh, those are big. Um, okay, yes, these are marked. Uh, they're Mexican, more modern. Um, yeah, they need some cleaning. Kind of messed up. Oh, lizards! Oh, my. I'm just going to dump all these earrings out because some of them are broken. There's some shell earrings in here that clearly have broken. Let's see if we can find the other lizard. Yeah, there he is. Oh my gosh, these are cute. <gasps> I'm finding a lot of things I want to keep. <laughs> I want to keep the lizards. They're so cute. Oh, those are adorable. They look Native American. I don't see a mark on the, the one of the hooks is marked 95. The hooks don't match. Okay, I'll fix that. Oh, these are so up. Oh, see now these are there's something broken here. These shell earrings, I think the broken piece, I think, came from these. They look pretty good, though, don't they? Those are cute. Um, let's see what else we got here. We have some moon and star silver earrings. Silver and brass, maybe? Yeah, I think so. Um, I mark 95. No maker mark. And we have, those look to be little Native American studs. Stamped. Um, there is a mark on this one, but it looks really, really rubbed out. Can't read it very well. Oh, these are nice. Oh, I'm so thrilled. I bet a lot of these are from her personal collection. They look like her style. Those are very nice. Turquoise. I'm sure these are sterling. The post is bent on this one. I have to carefully unbend it. These are not marked. Oh, 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 oh. oh cute. Some lapis and sterling. Yep. Um, I don't think they're marked, but for sure those are silver. And oh, uh, these have like tiny little thunderbirds on them. Little studs. Oh my goodness, those are so cute. Oh. No, I, don't, I don't see any mark on those either. There's, there's the broken shell. And looks like, uh, yeah, that's just a little broken bit of something. Okay. All right. Move on to. What do we have here? We have an apron. Mexico, I would say. When I was really little, probably about three, my parents went to Mexico and they brought all the girls home skirts that look like this. Mine was dark blue fabric with white embroidery. Each one was different. 
and I wore that skirt until I couldn't wear it anymore. I loved it. That's nice. Okay. We have another little apron. Oh my goodness, that is so sweet. Look at this. Look at the needlework on this. Look at her hair, her braids. Oh. Now, I'm not quite sure where this is from. It, it could be Mexico. It's probably Mexico. I don't know. Maybe it's Guatemala. Oh, of course it's not marked. It's probably Mexico. Look at this. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh. fun discovering things as I'm showing them. This appears to be a shirt. It's kind of big. Or it's big for me anyway. I'd say it's a maybe a woman's large. Yeah, the shoulders are too big for me. But this looks like it's kind of tie-dyed or batik maybe? Batik. Um, that's probably machine sewn. I'm guessing this is going to be from Indonesia, but that's only a guess. Ooh. We have a lovely, is it a saltillo blanket? Is that what they call them? These, I have, I have seen these selling for gobs of money. And this one looks like it's in really good shape. I have another one, but I've, I've been resisting selling it because it's not in good condition. It has holes in it. Uh, you know, I could list it as a cutter or something. This one is absolutely gorgeous. Ooh, look at the bright colors. Oh, beautiful. Uh, that would, that's going to be Mexico. Okay, we're making progress. We have look at this. This is wonderful. Beaded choker necklace. That's what the fastener looks like. It's like a button and buttonhole. Um, I'm thinking this is possibly Native American, maybe. Nice colors. Okay, and then we have beaded necklace. These are some glass beads, and I believe these are silver. Two beads, and this, this is my sister-in-law's work again. I can just tell how she does her connectors and everything. Oh, that's a nice one. Again, I may, I may keep this one and recycle some of the ones that I've had for a while and have been wearing a lot so I can have some fresh looks and not accumulate too much stuff. So that's very pretty. And then we have another hat. Look at this one. This is so sweet. I could wear these. I like wearing hats. There. There we go. Okay. Ooh. Check this out. Native American beadwork. Mm 